What's up guys, Nick here, and today I want to talk with you all about budget video setups, mainly talking about two different scenarios, one where we're assuming that you already have a computer, and the other one assuming that you're working off a smartphone or something. So let's get right into it. I'm going to cover all of the gear from lighting to microphones to editing software. So let's get right into it. And here we are using the video setup. Now I am using two microphones currently, um, and both of them are the recommendations that I personally have. But first things first, let's start off with the camera. So you can use your smartphone. It's actually highly recommended if you can't afford a DSLR our mirrorless camera because smartphones nowadays mean they film fantastic video high resolution and if you have good lighting pair with good audio then your smartphone will work just fine for a basic YouTube setup but if you can't afford it and you are looking for an upgrade over your smartphone then I would highly recommend the Canon SL2 now I have a whole nine month review about this camera after I use it for my YouTube channel shooting all of my cinematic sequences all of my vlogs all of these sit down videos and it's just overall a fantastic option now I know they did come out with the SL3 and there is like the M50 and stuff like that but they're a little bit more expensive. You really don't get a whole lot more compared to this camera. The SL3 in particular just is a 4K version of this camera, but to be honest, the 4K is unusable. It crops in, there's no autofocus. So overall, you'd just be better off saving the extra money and going with this camera. I mean, it has the Canon EF mount, which is one of the most common lens mounts out there. So the upgradability of this camera essentially is limitless. I mean, my Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 lens is worth twice as much as this entire setup. Now to move on to lighting, because what's a camera with without good lighting. I do recommend the Linkstar RL24 VC. I've made videos about it in the past. It's a fantastic option. It has adjustable brightness, adjustable color temperature. It's nice and soft and it does get very, very bright. You just plug it into the wall and you're set to go. And all this will be linked in the video description. Now to get on to microphones, because audio is one of the most important aspects of your video, I have three recommendations. Starting off with the Blue Snowball Ice. Now this microphone, it is more of a commentary microphone. You're not going to be able to use it with vlogging. You have to use it with a computer and use software to record. For example, I'm using QuickTime Player right now to record the audio. The only caveat with the Blue Snowball Ice is that you have to sync it in post, which is relatively easy. I would recommend clapping before you start talking, so that way you have reference points in your editing software to sync the audio in the end. But it does give the best quality for $50 out of all of these three. The only limitation is you cannot use it for vlogging. If you are looking for more of a vlog mic, I would definitely recommend the Rode Video Micro. It's the same price, but it's a lot smaller. It's meant to be on your camera it's meant to be moved around but if you do have a little bit extra change to spend definitely go with the video mic go the reason i would recommend the video mic go is because the design overall is better it has better shock mounts so you're not going to get any vibrations and it does offer a slight increase in audio quality and one thing to note your microphone rigging is going to be completely different than mine depending on your environment now what i would definitely recommend is getting a some sort of boom pole like this i mean this one this whole setup here is like $50 for the extension cable and everything. But this is probably the most common option. It works pretty much anywhere. You know, you just set it up on your floor and you can boom your mic over. You can get the microphone closer to your mouth, giving you the most crispy audio. Or another thing I recommend is this here mic arm, which can just clamp to the side of your desk. I mean, this one here was like $10. I'll link it in the description below along with that. Or you can simply just mount it on top of your camera like this if you plan on doing more vlogging and stuff like that. Because this also works too. I mean, it still gives clean audio. I mean, to be honest, it's what these things were designed to do. Now I want to talk about tripods. Now you can get an Amazon Basics tripod if you are on a very, very tight budget. There's plenty of great options out there. I'll link an option that I found down below that has good reviews. But if you have a little bit more money, I have seen a lot of people recommend a tripod from KNF Concept, which is about $80. And it's a fantastic option. It does go nice and tall, so that way if you need to stand up, you can do that. But depending what you do, if you plan on leaving your tripod like how I do, just in my room stationary, you can really cheap out. Because if you don't move it around and tear it down and set it up many times, then there's not really much chance of it breaking. So using a cheap one isn't the end of the world. And for vlogging tripods, this has got to be the most commonly recommended piece of equipment. I mean, it is fantastic though. It's expensive, but if you're looking to do any sort of vlogging, this is what I would recommend. I mean, some people say it's not sturdy. I've had mine for over a year now and it still is very, very sturdy. So I mean, I guess it depends how much you truly plan on using it, but this is a fantastic option. The ball head is great. You can move it any which direction. This plate is very, very common with many tall tripods like that too. So you don't really have to use multiple different plates. Now talk about editing software. Considering with this scenario, we're already assuming that you have a computer. For people on Windows, I would definitely recommend DaVinci Resolve, and DaVinci Resolve also works on Mac OS as well. This is a fantastic software. It's free. There's no watermark, which is a big requirement. Make sure there is no watermark on your video. But with DaVinci Resolve, it's a more professional software, so when you look at it, 
it looks professional there's lots of professional features and you can buy the full licensed version from black magic and it's absolutely great a lot of filmmakers use it it has some of the most powerful color grading tools out there and it's just amazing there's plenty of great tutorials online because when you dive into it it looks intimidating but if you're on a mac and you need something more simple definitely i would recommend imovie imovie is a fantastic piece of software it's very easy it's well optimized so it works on a lot of different macs i've made videos in the past where i've edited a whole youtube video on a 2010 macbook pro in imovie and what's great about imovie is that if you move to something like final cut pro it's going to be very familiar because they're both designed by apple they are very similar software the only difference is final cut pro is a professional software but it still has that imovie feel to it so with someone like me who has an imovie background moving to final cut pro was very very self-explanatory to me but that's it for scenario one let's assume that you don't have a computer what do you do then and here we are with the smartphone setup pretty much everything is the same the only difference is you have to get some sort of phone mount to mount it on a tripod I recommend trying to find one with a hot shoe mount so that way if you plan on doing any sort of mobile vlogging you can still mount a road video mic on there to get the clean audio because built-in microphones on phones still aren't quite there yet so it's definitely required that you get some sort of external audio source the blue snowball ice will not work with a phone it is a USB mic it has to be plugged into a computer to work but the road video micro or the road video mic go still works fantastic I'm actually using that right now it's boomed up here so it's nice and close to my mouth giving me the crispy audio it's plugged into my iPhone 7 but I'm using the same light, the same tripod, the same boom pole for that matter, you can use the same mic on. Now when it comes to mobile video editing software, there's not many options out there that are really that good. I mean you have LumaFusion which is like $20 which is relatively cheap for video editing software, but it's by far the best mobile option out there. Or if you're looking for free editing software, go with iMovie. Just make sure it does not have a watermark. If someone sees a watermark on your video, it's instantly just a sign that this is not a professional piece of content. Make sure the clips can at least be cut and rearranged that way you can make changes in your final edit but definitely look at trying to get some sort of computer before you get a camera because I mean smartphone video quality is absolutely exceptional to be honest it's just the editing side that things start to get a little bit shaky where you could really use an upgrade thank you all for watching this video about budget video I mean I've looked around the internet I've looked at things that I personally have because I don't have any expensive equipment I've been on a budget this entire time and it's worked for me for over four years so thank you all for watching I will see you guys in the next video peace out